birthday's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, gonna stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. I started out by covering my eyebrows with washable glue to seal them down and help protect against the silicone. I mixed up some third degree silicone and using this little spatula I'm just doing random little shapes on my face. Um, the best part about this is that you can kind of get away with doing anything and no two Freddy Kruegers are going to look the same. So I started out using the spatula and then as you will see here in a little bit I switch over to a popsicle stick but that's just because I got tired of switching between the two. So I'm just going through making random spots and just kind of working from the center of my face out. Here, instead of drawing little circles, I'm literally just putting it straight on my face and then moving the product around to create patches and holes in the texture of the skin. He does have somewhat of a furrowed brow look to his face, so I'm just taking some silicone and doing a pretty thick layer over my eyebrows. I also put some silicone over my lips because if he is burned everywhere, he's going to be burned on his lips as well, and that just really helps to bring everything together. Using a reference photo, I noticed that there were diagonal lines going across his neck, so I'm literally just taking that product and dragging it in random places down towards the center of my throat. Then I'm just going through and adding some random spots to break up the lines and make it so that it has a little bit more texture to it and less stripey. While the third degree is setting, I'm just taking a foundation and putting this over top of the bald cap. Since I'm wearing a hat, it doesn't matter if it's not all the way back, I just brought it about to the center of the top of my head. Once the silicone is dry, I'm just taking a powder and setting everything to make sure that it is ready for paint. And this is how everything turned out before I started going in with the paint. Taking a red grease paint, I'm just going in and covering all of the exposed skin. I used a little eyeliner brush to get into the smaller spaces and to add a little bit more detail. I wanted to give a shadow under the brow, but as soon as I put this black on, I realized that it looked like I had cartoon brows, so I'm going to go back in and kind of smudge that out later. 
Now I'm taking a purple brown grease paint and shading in the burns to make it look like it's actually in my skin and to make it look a little bit more realistic. For the lids I'm using a cool brown tone and just smudging that in and I also put a little bit underneath the lower lash line. I'm also really working that into the part where I tried to add the shadow just to blend it out and make it a little less dramatic. Going back to the red shade from earlier, I'm using a very light hand and just kind of stippling this over the places that are not red just to add a little bit of irritation and to just kind of finish out the overall look of the face. Using a little bit of the foundation from the bald cap, I'm just tapping this here and there just to add a little bit of highlight to the face. And then I go and set everything with a dewy finishing spray since a burn is going to have a little bit of a shinier look. So that's it for my Freddy Krueger. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And if you would, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I had so much fun doing all these Halloween looks. And I look forward to the holidays now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.